super easy, super quick recipe tonight, kind of sticking with the theme on uh, desserts like we did the last time with the grilled bananas. Funny thing was, my both of my boys watched the video on the grilled bananas and said it kind of took them back to remember that. And they mentioned, hey, what about the cobbler that I used to make at the same time? So also a 15 year old recipe, very similar to the other. Uh, great, quick, good when the uh, egg is already hot. If you've already got maybe dinner coming off, this is super easy and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. I want to get started because the first step is to melt butter. And I could have had this going while we were, uh, while I was talking. So I just got a disposable pan here. You can use any pan that you want, any dish. I've got an egg that's at 400 degrees. And I'm just going to throw that in there and let the, uh, let the butter start melting. The same thing, this recipe goes all the way back to 2004. I would do this all the time after we would get done cooking some grilled chicken or fish or, or burgers or whatever. Uh, while this is warming up, we'll just talk a little bit. This is a baking uh, dish here and just a couple of things. I've got it set at 400 degrees, which as we've talked, you know, a little bit of airflow, about a finger, finger or two down below, and then the same up top. And we just missed a rainstorm. You can kind of see there's water around. I wiped everything down, but and it looks like there, it could rain again. So I went ahead and put on the rain cap on top of the regulator so that if it does rain while I'm cooking, it's not gonna have any effect whatsoever and let anything drip into the, not that it would hurt anything, but I don't want rain water dripping in. So ingredient wise, I'll go ahead and get our peaches ready. Normally I would do the big can, the 29 ounce can of sliced peaches. They were out of the big can. So uh, two of these works out to just about the same just a little bit, just a little bit more. You want sliced peaches in the, uh, in the syrup. You could also use fresh peaches. We've done that before. You would just want to mix in some sugar uh, if you do that to try and try and end up with your syrup. And then our ingredients, uh, self-rising flour, one full cup of self-rising flour, three quarters a cup white sugar, and then it's going to be a half a cup of the milk. And this is as easy as it gets, but it is just a delicious dessert recipe. Always a uh, family favorite. Kids love it. Cut my butter here just to speed up the melting process a little bit. So we're set up as an oven to bake on the big green egg, which you can tell I've got the convector that's in there. So this is essentially the same as cooking on the middle rack of an oven at 400 degrees. Keep the heat in there so that actually melts. Now I've got my mixing bowl and my measuring cup. Take a look at our butter. We're Doing good there. So we can go ahead and get started on this while that's while that's going. So again, one cup of self-rising flour, a three quarters of a cup of sugar, and I like to give this just a couple stirs before I add the the milk. Okay, and we're gonna do half a cup of milk. You can add a little bit more if you feel you need it, but usually it just takes right out of half a cup. And I like to use a fork and I'm just going to mix this. You're not trying to get all the lumps out. You just wanna make sure you mix it, catch up all, get all the flour. Now I'm just going to start taking I guess you would call this batter, gobbler. Batter. I just want to reach a little bit better. The goal is just to kind of drizzle this in here. The key that I believe it was in all caps on the recipe that I picked this up on the egghead farm years ago. And it's like all caps, it says, no matter how tempted you are, do not stir. I'm guessing it would be disaster if you did. So I always pay attention to that part of the recipe. Majority of that, I'm not gonna stir it, but I do want that butter to just kind of get across there in the middle. Gonna evenly dump our peaches. In this case, two small cans because they were out of the big cans. With syrup. Yeah, with the syrup. Yep. And 
little splash there to make it smell good. I'm not going to stir it in, I'm just going to move the... <laughs> Nobody wants to have a bite without peaches, so... Don't stir it, but just make sure it's kind of even there. Like so. And then last but not least, uh, cinnamon sugar. I think I've had this container. It might be several years since I've used it, but you want a pretty good coating. Calls for about a tablespoon. If you don't want that much sugar, you don't have to, but this stuff really makes it good. So I put quite a bit of that on there. And that is part one. We'll put this, cook at that 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. So we'll go off camera so that we don't uh, stay in here and do nothing for 45 minutes and then we'll show the finished result here in just a few minutes. Okay, so we're back with the finished product. Simple peach cobbler. First things first, I wanna get this off of the egg here so it can cool down just a tad. So this is right at 40 minutes, 400 degrees baking in the big green egg. You just want to get it to where it's firm and golden brown like that. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. And you can see we started with the butter. I'll talk for a second while that cools down so it doesn't burn me. We started with the butter on the bottom, layered the batter, and then the peaches on top. As you can see what happens there, that's probably why you don't stir it because it's all just magically works its way to the top. Get some out of there so it'll cool faster. And then you can kind of see when you take the corner, when you take the edges, Steaming hot. You can just see the. Uh, Trying your arm is in the way. Look at the texture on that cobbler. I mean, it's just so, so easy. I'm sure there are more sophisticated, maybe even better recipes out there, but man, for the simplicity, this one just works great. I'm just gonna put the cobbler, let that sit for a second, I'll put some ice cream on it. Just got some vanilla ice cream. And it's gonna melt nice and quick. All right, Are you so gonna put some cinnamon sugar oh. on top? Man, I'm so glad. <clears throat> Remind me of all this stuff. <laughs> Definitely gotta do a little bit more of the. Can't see it, so I'm gonna do it this way. A little drizzle of the cinnamon sugar on top. If you can find, this is vanilla ice cream, but. Like we talked about in the last one, if you can find, ever get your hands on cinnamon ice cream, man, that's the way to go, even with this dish as well. So, thank you again for watching. I'm going to try and not burn myself here on this bite. And if my grown boys are watching and you're craving some of this cobbler, if you come over more often and see your mom and dad, then you'll get cobbler and grilled bananas and ice cream. <laughs>